Hello Rutbags, it's Jade. Welcome to pretty much one of the last legendary hunt videos I have done. Go and check out all the rest of them if you want tips how to defeat all of these creatures. You'll find them obviously scattered around Assassin's Creed if you don't know by now. You do get a reward for killing this guy. Now, I think it happens to be that you've killed all of the legendary creatures, or at least the ones with the crowns. So I'm going to talk you through that as well, and obviously top tips about how to defeat this guy back in Norway. He is pretty high leveled as you can see, 340. You definitely need a lot of skills, but you also do get a bit of help if you bring your longbow. So let's go. Don't forget to like, make sure you're subscribed. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Legendary Hunt Video. So if you've upgraded your Hunter's Hut, you'll know now that you can go up to him and see what creatures you've killed, and you can see he's the last one on the list. There is another one that doesn't appear. He's in the Vinlands area, which is a giant moose. But you can see some of these pictures have got crowns on them. So I think it's a case of having to take out the ones with crowns, and then you get a reward, which is a fantastic battle axe. I'm going to show you the axe once we've defeated the bear. 100% not confirm that, but I didn't get this reward until I killed this bow bear, and he was absolutely the last creature that I could find other than maybe Asgard. I've got to check around them areas to see if there's a legendary creature there too but likewise you won't necessarily need to kill them if there is because I did get the reward. So this giant polar bear is in Norway of course on this little island here in the north. It's in the Herdersfolk area so it's like level 250 or 290 i'm finding it hard to read that little one looking at it now but i've explored all the rest of the southern part of norway done every mysterious event every piece of gold got all the armor every weapon and when i went to this area originally it was blocked off i couldn't get to this island where the polar bear is it had one of them crackly screens on it that said you couldn't go and it basically desynchronized me so obviously i've returned much later on and now i'm allowed to go through these areas so you will need your longboat to get to here most likely. As I said, it's on a bunch of different islands. So it's a bit too tough to maybe do it. Uh, you'll also notice they've patched out that you can jump from any height and use your heavy attack to make your fall a little less dangerous. It's probably just about worth pointing out that just across the islands you'll find a little cave system. Inside here is a bunch of different smaller little chests. So definitely go in there and get some loot. You'll find lots of fabric and stuff like that too. So let's talk over what I'm actually wearing to take him on. I've got uh, pretty much my raven gear. I've been using this gear all through the start. I've re never really felt like I wanted to change. I like the fact that when you get low health, it gives you a bit more extra armor protection. And I just find it's one of the best ones for me. Obviously, I've upgraded a couple pieces now to mythological status, but the rest are all just flawless. You will need as many of the adrenaline points that you can get, so the extra ones that you can go for. You'll also need the slow motion, that is definitely needed as well. When it comes to runes, I had just loads of health and the backstab root, uh, rune, which is probably one of my favourites. So here he is, Bear of the Blue Waters. I'll be honest, he's not that difficult. I mean, I think he killed me once maybe when I tried doing this, and that was just generally because I hadn't really prepared myself enough. As always though, I always show you my fails. So he's got a few weak points and absolutely want to take full advantage of them to get the most out of it. I did use Man's Best Friend ability. I've got that upgraded to level 2, so stick around. He won't just do one attack. But you can see the Polar Bear is so powerful. It only takes a couple of swipes and he is pretty much going to be down. I thought it would be really cool if you managed to maybe aim at the knife or sword, you would do a lot more damage, but that wasn't the case. So I've got him down to about half health here and he just is going to lunge for you. As long as you stay distance away, you should be able to take him down with a lot of bow and arrow shots here. Like it's plenty of time to get out of the way normally. You can see the lunge is pretty easy to work out when he's going to do it as well. And I tried just a bunch of different things like with the flaming arrow. He did catch me a bit on guards there. And obviously I was trying to do my typical Valkyrie dive and then spamming it with the L1 attack but I didn't actually replenish my health and that was a big mistake as he's often going to just be able to sideswipe you and take away at least half your health if he does manage to catch you. So round two, they've already patched it, but it wasn't really a cheese, because I think I've done this after the patch anyway, but pretty much your guys will fire some arrows towards the bear if you leave them close by. I went around all of the islands to see if they would actually come on land with me, but I couldn't get a point where that was the case. I didn't get a chance to test it out if I blew the horn while on an island, that would maybe get them on top. I'm pretty sure they can't climb on top of this little island. I definitely recommend any sort of skills or abilities centered around the bow and arrow, like getting any more shots out of it, whether it's poison or whether it's fire, I think they'll work really well to take him down a little bit more. And obviously aiming for the weak spots, so you've got a weak spot on each one of his legs, and I was desperately trying to get it to whip down that energy and health. You can see though, one little shot from an arrow, especially to the head, takes down a significant little portion as well, and you will get more arrows on this little island too. Conveniently, there is also some more mushrooms as well, so yeah, it's definitely 
definitely something to consider. Don't worry if you haven't got loads of food, there should be enough mushrooms to replenish your stock. But obviously you want to be there fully formed when you get there anyway. He kind of just rolls back a little bit, that's a good time to get him. And when you do get all the weak points, you'll get a chance to do a massive one, which I put some poison on it as well. And you can see it did even more damage. So definitely worth equipping some of poison to your blades to get that extra bit. Keeping him at bay is really critical. I finally tried using my throwing axe. I've been trying to use that on a few of the others and it's just not been effective. They've been able to move out of the way, but this guy's a little bit slower. And obviously if you catch him in the right moment, you can use it a bit more effectively. And then spamming the L1, holding it down so that you get your adrenaline points boosted back up. Lots of poison arrows, dodging around him again with the slow mobility. And you should be able to find this guy pretty easily once you get going. Obviously I am like level 170, I think here 175. So I have doing a bit more damage. It's not like he's 400 levels above me, but still he's at least double nearly what I am now You saw I haven't even got all the mythological gear But I have pretty much got all the abilities that you would really need to get extra out of maybe bow shots and stuff like that I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sad. I've run out of these creatures to take on I have kind of felt like there would be more running around. I mean, there's enough I suppose there's at least 10 I definitely feel like the hunter's hut should have more descriptions about them though to give you some preparation for what you might expect or in terms of like how to defeat them or necessarily it'll give you actual proper rewards for defeating them. Like I still haven't got my heads on my longhouse. I'm hopefully going to be not saying this much longer but I can only see some elk heads. I can't see any other heads in my longhouse and I can't find any way to change them. Even though I've given them all to the hunter's hut I just had nothing so far actually tell me that I can make them on display back at home. Oh, on health, you can see my guys are still firing arrows at him. They are doing a little bit of damage, so it's definitely worth keeping them close enough that they will actually do that. But it's not like there's 20 arrows being thrown at him, it's literally just one tiny one. Now, the patch is meant to have stopped that because lots of you guys are telling me that's how you dealt with zealots that the bow uh, they were using their arrows to shoot from the boat, and they said they've done that now, they'll run out of arrows. But it looks like they're firing pretty still quite a bit here. I can't remember if this was before the patch or after, to be honest. I'm pretty sure it was after, but I could be wrong on that. But there you go, he's nearly done a few more hits you can see i've still got plenty of life and yeah he is brown bread brown bed brown bed white no well let's not try and do that joke i had some great shots though hope you appreciate them and that is how to kill the polar bear of the blue water i do kind of keep ruining these moments because i'm always desperate to get a shot for the thumbnail so yeah it's a shame that i'm not actually showing you just fully how it works out but i thought that was a pretty decent shot Hopefully I've used that for the thumbnail. I might use a couple of the others. I don't know. Let me know any of these creatures you've had a problem with. If you have, go and check out my guides. I've already done on them. And as I said, you do get a decent, nice little reward. So let's check out the axe that you get. Also, two skill points ain't too bad either. So you get Vordor's Bite and it's pretty decent, it is. Like it does a lot of damage, 126 at flawless level. Heavy combo finisher hits have a chance to deal uh, a poison cloud. And that's something I've not really tested it fully out yet. I am working on a guide that's gonna include the locations of all the creatures and a brief overview. And then I'll properly test out this axe and give you some footage of how it actually plays out. But that's what you get for the reward. It's pretty decent. I would say it's one of the better axes for sure. I guess the only problem with it, its speed is pretty atrocious compared to some of the other two-handed axes. I guess that would be its only real negative. So there we go. I am JPG. This has been another Assassin's Creed Legendary Hunt. And we're pretty much reaching the end of these, unless I do find some more in Asgard. Until next time, Ratbags, I will catch you lot later.